Hello everybody, my name is Cool Blue, and we are bringing you guys a commentary, and I say we because I'm joined here with a co-caster for some scrolls. Um, if you guys don't know, the scrolls tournament's going on, it's a three-week tournament, actually four-week tournament now, but we're going to commentate some games, and I'm joined here by Frankie. So Frankie, would you like to say hello to all the beautiful people out there? Hey guys, I'm here, and we're going to commentate this match, so let's get started. Heck yeah, alright, so in order to start off, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take a look at the opening hands, so we're going to let it play and then pause on the opening hands, so you guys see what cards they have, but we know that uh, ARN is playing Order, is that, no, no, WBMC is playing Order, and ARN is playing Decay, is that correct? Yeah. Right, and uh, you, you said earlier it was, like, it, was like a, it was like a ramp up or something like that? For order? Oh no, that's, that's for the second match, this is the first match. Okay, okay, all right. So this is a more tempo version of more Order. Okay. All right, so we're on the first per person's turn. Uh, the opening hand is going to be Roasted Beam Potion, uh, Duncan Skirmisher, uh, go away, uh, Favored, and also Pother. So with this opening hand, can you tell what WBMC's strategy is, kind of? Yeah, this this first hand isn't very good because as tempo order, he, he wants to play something on the board the first turn or the second turn, mm -hmm. so he's going to sack this hand and take a new one because, he yeah, if he can go Aging Knight, that will be really good. Alright, so we'll let it play. Uh, we'll see. Uh, the first card he picks up is the Proud Mercenary. He does go ahead and sacrifice for resources. Uh, he has nothing useful right now, so we're going to let it go to the next hand. Aaron, he opens up with some really cool decay cards. He has a uh, Meyer Shambler. He has a Corpse Spider, which is actually really creepy. Uh, he has an I'm Ride Eater, which does really cool things. Sanctuary of the Lost, I hate that card. He has a Harvester, and he also has a Brain Lice. So, um, so far for ARN, is he prompt and apt to go for a full undead strategy? Is that what that is? Yeah, that's exactly what this is, but it's uh, right now he's gonna sack the harvester, and I'm a little bit surprised by that. I mean, I, I would have kept the harvester for now. I would have sacked the the sanctuary of the lost because mm -hmm. uh, that card is mainly useful against the energy. Mm -hmm. But but yeah, so that's his choice. I mean, yeah, yeah. Sanctuary yeah. Yeah. loss is really yeah. I mean, it, it's it gets rid of lingering spells. So I guess you are absolutely correct. Um, Order doesn't have any lingering spells, at least not tempo order, do they? Well, actually, Sanctuary of the Lost. What it does is it uh, protects his undead units from uh, from being like uh, targeted by uh, spells. Oh, got so, it. Okay. Yeah. So it's mainly effective against the removal that energy has. Mm -hmm. Against tempo order, it can protect for from things like flip and pother. So, Correct. Which, which yeah. I mean, he, he, he can deny card draws, that's really about it. But um, the first play from ARN is going to be dropping a Meyer Shambler. So it's going to be sitting there shambling. And we'll go ahead and let it go to round three uh, at the start of uh, ARN's turn, and we'll stop there. So we'll just let some people play some cards. As far as the cards getting played, uh, WBMC still has nothing to play, which is very unfortunate. So he just sacks for some more resources. Uh, ARN, he's going to go ahead and drop himself what looks to be a wild court spider on the back end. And that thing is scary as crap. <laughs> but... Continuing on, we finally have enough resources for WBMC to actually play something, so he's going to go ahead and drop himself out a Royal Skirmisher, which uh, they have Relentless. Um, how, how, or, and then we'll pause at the start of Aaron's turn. Um, how effective in general is Relentless against Undead strategies? Because Undead, to me, is like you have a bunch of cheap, easy killable units. Like, like is Relentless a good thing to have or a bad thing to have? Yeah, uh, at least in the early game, it's a really good thing because uh, he's gonna probably drop the Rod Eater that uh, he had on his starting hand, mm -hmm. and uh, so the Relentless is especially is, is gonna be really good for for killing it. Mm -hmm. But later on, when he will have units all over the board, it, it's less important. It's less important. Okay, and and as far as the board setup right now, ARN and WEMC both protecting or starting off in the middle the middle lane. Um, I learned or I heard from a little birdie named uh, Alpha Sentry, that if you protect your central lane, that's like probably the most important thing to do early in the game, because then you can choose your options as far as going up or down. Um, with both sides having stuff in the middle, who has the advantage as far as protecting their middle lane better? Well, I, I think it's kind of too early to tell, but knowing mm -hmm. both hands, mm -hmm. I, I would say ARN is going to be able to uh, grab the the board better, but then again, I think he mispositioned his units because mm -hmm. if you play the Meyer Shambler behind the mm -hmm. the Corpse Strider, mm -hmm. right now he would have a hundred percent chance of making it attack the the Skirmisher. Oh, but, got it. Mm -hmm. But he's not going to be able to do that. So let's see what happens. 
Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and let it play. Um, actually, no, not yet, not yet, not yet. Sorry, our AR in hand, he now has a Dunkle Skirmisher, Royal Guard, and Pother. We're gonna go ahead and let it play now, and uh, we'll see what AR in decides to do. He has a Revlet, or Rem, Rem, ah, Rem, Remnant, Remnant. So the Remnant's gonna go ahead and, uh, get s set in the hand. Sorry, I guess, thought I got sacked, but no, he plays Armor Ride here instead. The Shambles gonna go ahead and punch an Idol for seven damage. Uh, we'll stop on round six or so, so we can have some more stuff happen. Round six is the start of yeah. WBMC's turn. We'll uh, recoup. But as far as it goes right now, WBMC set to go ahead and smack himself for Ermai Rodier in the face. It's not the best of mm -hmm. things that happen. I don't think anything he can do can actually keep it alive. I lied. He plays himself a nice little pack husk, which he really wants to die. So just some general generic damage coming out from everybody. Um, do, do you see anything special, spectacular coming out so far? Mm, no, no. The the only weird play was the the positioning with the Myra Shambler because he could have killed the the Royal Skirmisher. Mm -hmm. But apart from that, everything's good and uh, both boards are pretty even right now. Pretty even because uh, WBMC has some pretty powerful units. Correct, and actually WBMC, we just witnessed that he did smack up all the units of AR and all that work. Armor my right to dies because of a pother. Um, we also had the uh, Relentless come out from the Dunkle Skirmisher, who does smack a few things in the face. And we're at round 6 at the start of WBMC's turn, so we'll pause there just to make sure we're synced back up. Um, okay, so if you are AR in right now, you just lost an Armor my right eater, and two units that you want the Armor my right eater to feed off of or grow off of. How do you feel that you have to play another Irma Red Eater just to try to get yourself back into the game? <laughs> yeah, that was unfortunate, so... Mm -hmm. He he basically got his board reset, so that's not very good for... Uh, for uh, his... the the Undead Decay. But but mm -hmm. he can definitely come back. Correct, he can, he can still come back. Um, he, he has a Revenant in the background, I don't know if it's going to be able to actually do anything spectacular. Unless he has some really cool spells. He has Brain Lights, so I guess Brain Lights is going to be cool to have. Um, I'm, 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 I'm really afraid for AR, and i got to say that much, because WBMC has Relentless units. Like, like I just love Relentless units, because I, well, I I play Growth. I play uh, Cheap Growth, so I just like Cheap units. So whenever I get a Wolf out, I'm like the proudest guy in the world. Um, but facing against Relentless things is very scary, especially as a Growth, because things die easily. And I feel the same way about AR and stick or undead strategy because things die easily and relentless just rips through everything just like one or two buffs will pretty much wipe your entire board especially somebody has relentless so um is there anything that aaron can do to adjust to that or is he just kind of have to deal with it yeah he's gonna have to hope for a good uh restless bones play so mm -hmm. that's the card that uh allows him to attack with a very strong uh, undead units mm -hmm. but but yeah, uh, um, if he can't do that, he has to run away right now because he clearly can't face the two skirmishers. Correct. All right, <coughs> so we'll go ahead and let it play to round eight at the start of ARN's turn, and uh, we'll see how things develop. We got ourselves a nice little, nice little. Uh, is that is that? No, he sacked a card. Never mind. I thought he played uh, the. Oh no, he did. Okay, he played favored. Cool. All right, so he has favorite being played out, which uh, lets him get some extra health and some extra damage as well. Wait, no, it's just. Yeah, some extra health and some extra damage once idols are destroyed. Um, the extra health is going to be useful versus all this all this stuff, so to speak, that Aaron has. Um, he has an uh, Essence Grab. Essence Grab, or... What does Essence Guard do? What the heck does that do? I can't read it fast enough. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't read it, but it allows a unit to... Uh, I think it's the one that allows a unit to have Slayer for the turn. So if it hits anything, it will kill it. Okay, and uh, we, we did see a Restless Bone come out from Aaron. He did go ahead and smack down the unit, so he was able to get those killed. Uh, he does have a boosted up Armai Ride Eater. He's going to go ahead and drop the Essence Garb as well, which we can see what it does in a second once we pause. But for right now, we see some more units getting played. Slayer Vistage is getting thrown out, and we have ourselves the first idol falling from WBMC. And we're going to go ahead and pause after WBMC's turn, because he has some really cool cards. But he's going to go ahead and drop himself out a Reloris. Reloris is going to be dropped out. The Buff Master is what I like to call him. And uh, we pause on the beginning of ARN's turn. So, a lot of things have surpassed all of my expectations. I wasn't expecting ARN to actually get the Restless Bones at that time, but he did, as you called it. And he kind of just yeah, like. Me neither. <laughs> he he, he kind of just like wrecked all the units that he had. Uh, so, so I guess I guess the, the shoe's on the other foot, because we have an Ermai Rider who's 8 8, and we have some things that are about to attack in the next turn. So, that's two idols potentially down right now. Um. 
is 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 this something that WBMC can actually return from since he's playing the tempo order? Like like is there is there is there a comeback mechanic for him? Because he's not gonna have that many resources, I'm assuming. He needs to uh Right now, he has to play the role of kind of run away, but always be near enough to uh, to use a roasted beam potion to attack, right? Mm -hmm. Because that one gives him more move. Mm -hmm. But yeah, it's kind of a shame because he has already uh, gone through like three skirmishers, so he only has three left in the deck cycle. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, correct. That's going to be tough. And 13 cards left, not the best that he wants to have. Uh, he does have an Expedition Guard, which I think that card was specifically made to counter growth, but that's just me. But I hate that card. That card can go <laughs> die in a fire. It's a freaking plus one attack for each non-human creature. What do you mean? Anyway, all that aside, he has one of those out. That's going to be a really nice card from this round, or this specific game. Um, I didn't realize I had four health. Holy crap. Uh, but yeah, the, the Reloius, uh, he also has the Expedition Guard versus an 8-8 eight, eight Urban Ride Eater, and also some Pack Husk and a Slayer Visage, which is a very annoying card. So we will see how WBMC tries to dig himself out of this slight hole that he seems yeah. to be in. By the way, mm -hmm. Essence Guard was actually uh, the scroll that buffs the, the health and attack, so I was wrong. Ah, so, so it buffs health and attack, and also yeah, it gives you more that's how if it it's... got so big. That's how the Rod Eater got so big. Okay, and also gives more if it's Dominion, which is... So he's gonna... Wow, okay. I'm, yeah. I'm pretty sure WBMC really wishes he was a uh, Order, so he can just like blow it up. Oh, no, yeah, Order. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead and let it play to round, uh, round 10 or so, since so we'll see some more things develop. And uh, we'll stop at round 10 at the start of WBMC's turn. Uh, we have the flesh animator getting dropped out from Aaron. That thing, what does it do? I don't remember. Uh, he, yeah, I still don't remember. It, it gives him more units. Which one? The flesh animator. Oh no, when it counts down, it's going to also count down all the undead. Ah, uh, that's so, going to be so scary. Right, mm -hmm. right now, it's, it's good because uh, Aaron has two uh, undead units on the board. So, uh -huh. that's good. Correct. And we also have ourselves another uh, Expedition Guard. It looks like WBMC is trying to retaliate a little bit with some more damage. He might lose a few units here, which is going to be very unfortunate. It uh, looks like, no, okay, okay, Aaron's going to go ahead and just try to go for as much damage as possible. Going to take down one idol, roughly, and oh no, he has an Urva! Oh god, oh man, so bad, I hate that. Urva basically attacks whenever an undead attacks. So, that's one unit gone. The Resident Swords gets played out though, that's going to boof Royas. Yep. So he gets he gets boost he gets boosted up with the blessing of the haste. He also gets boosted up with the roasted beam potion. This is like the best possible play that he wants. He's gonna get everybody some extra damage. Nine on a skirmisher. Holy crap! Are you kidding me? Uh, it's gonna be one thing dead, two things dead, three things dead, and uh, looks like looks like WBMC had a pretty fantastic turn. And sorry, I went a little bit further than I said I was gonna do, but <clears throat> we'll stop at w we'll stop at uh, the start of ARN's turn at round ten. Um, yeah, not sure why he moved down the the expedition guard. You saw how he mm -hmm. moved it closer to the attacking flesh animator. Oh yeah, he did. He did. He did. That that, that was weird. Well, I, mean, I, I I thought he maybe he wants to try to get as much idle damage as possible because mm -hmm. it was a it was yeah. a, what a seven was it a seven? Yeah, it was a seven. So I mean, it was at a seven, and he also has a resonance sword on. Oh, that's so gross. Resonance sword plus Reloyes equals like GG. Is how that is. <laughs> the thing got up to a nine. I don't. I don't yeah. know how to feel about that. A nine. That was pretty scratch. powerful. Yeah. At first, I was surprised because he sacked the the focus, mm -hmm. which uh, could have been really good. Mm -hmm. But in the in the end, he he still got like tons of attack, so mm -hmm. it didn't matter. And Aaron, um, Aaron still has the advantage. Let's not forget that he has uh, almost two idols down. Actually, two idols down. I'm assuming. Uh, his Ermire Rider is going to be in a little bit of a stinky position though, because uh, I don't know if WBMC can do that again with boosting up his units, but he could very well easily. I mean, he has a Reloyus and he also has a Resonous Sword, so that's like, I play a spell and I get plus two damage. Yeah, and this turn he's going to be able to uh, to kill the Expedition Guard if he p plays Brain Lice on it. Oh, correct. Well, ah, good point. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure if you have already played through that, but... No, 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 no. Not, not, not at all, not at all. Alright, so we're at round 10 at the start of Aaron's turn. We're gonna go ahead and let it go to round uh, 12. Let's go round 12 to WBMC's turn, and uh, we'll see We'll see how things develop. Uh, I'll try to call out what I can. Just uh, forgive me, because some of these cards, I still don't know the names of and what they do. Uh, but Brain Lice does get played on top of the Expedition Guard, so it's gonna be Poison. Uh, he should die before he attacks. Yeah, yeah, he should die next turn. So that's gonna be good. And there's a card, a free scroll for you, sir, and or madam. <clears throat> and 
And we also have ourselves a Blade Husk, which Blade Husk does he get? Yeah, he gets he gets uh, relentless on Dominion, so that's gonna be really cool. Resident Swords gets played out. Pother gets played out as well. If he has himself something to let it attack now, he might be able to kill the Ermire Rider. It looks like the answer is gonna be no. Just, I have just... no idea why he pothered it because now it's gonna be able to attack his units, and the other way he could have run away. Correct. Um, I, I think maybe he was hoping that it wasn't going to be as bad, but oh man, okay, that's even worse. Alright, so he just boosted it up again, and that's going to be another idol down. I think that just might be game. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to pause, because I said I was going to pause, and we're, we're at the start of WBMC's turn on round 12, but like, that's two idols down and one about to go down. I don't, I, I, I don't know, yeah, I agree, I don't know if that pother was the greatest of moves. <laughs> I guess maybe yeah. he was hoping it would push him down instead of up. Uh, I I don't I really don't know what he was hoping for because yeah that was just plain weird. Mm -hmm. uh, Draining Mist also got dropped on his unit, so they're going to be taking a little bit longer to attack. <sighs> kind of sucks, but eh, that's what you got to deal with sometimes. He does have two blessing haste or blessing of haste though, so maybe he can make make a comeback with that. Don't really know. Alright, so let's not let's not delay this too long. We'll let it go to round I say fourteen if it does go that far. No, no. it's it's over. Next it's over? Round. Oh no, yeah. you're right. The attack. Oh, he has no units. He drops a Royal Vanguard down at the bottom. He might be able to protect it. I don't really know. Uh I think Aaron should have something to blow it up. We'll see in a second. And I don't know about that move. He moved his stuff up to a blank idol. Uh, there's the Loyal Darkling. Loyal Darkling, oh, okay. Loyal Darkling has Unstable too, so should be able to kill things. And, oh, that's it. Beautiful play. So you're right, that's totally it. I wasn't expecting that move. So overall, ARN versus WBMC. Uh, ARN ends up taking the victory for that one. Do you think there's anything WBMC could have done differently to make it more uh, in his favor? Uh, the, the killer turn was uh, when... Uh, ARN was able to use the Restless Bones to take out two Skirmishers. If mm -hmm. that hadn't happened, I'm pretty sure he would have been the, the one to uh, win this match. Because he had two uh, Skirmishers and those are really strong at the beginning. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And, and I, I think it's kind of funny because like I always look at it as like, you know, oh this person has the advantage so they're probably going to win this game. And then it's always flipped to the opposite of what I guess. But, I mean, <laughs> Undead is nothing to mess around with. Pretty yeah. obvious pretty obvious so that's gonna be it for this game uh, my name is cool blue i was joined here by frankie and frankie would you like to say the final goodbye to all the beautiful people out there yeah thank you guys for watching and uh, see you next game mm-hmm